Ireland, with its verdant landscapes and rich history, is home to a unique community known as the Irish Travellers. Distinct from the settled population, the Travellers possess a rich cultural heritage that has been passed down through generations. Often misunderstood and marginalised, the Travellers have faced prejudice and discrimination throughout their history. Despite these challenges, they have maintained their strong sense of identity and community. This essay aims to shed light on the Irish traveller community, their history and the discrimination they have faced in Irish society. The origins of the Irish travellers have been a subject of much debate and speculation, with historians and researchers examining various sources to find the truth. Despite extensive efforts, no definitive historical record has pinpointed their exact emergence, leaving their beginnings shrouded in mystery. Theories abound, ranging from connections to nomadic groups who migrated from mainland Europe centuries ago, to links with displaced Irish populations during times of upheaval and famine, such as the Great Famine of the 1840s, which forced many to adopt a nomadic lifestyle for survival. Some scholars suggest ties to the Romani people often referred to as gypsies, due to linguistic similarities and shared elements of a nomadic lifestyle. The Romani, like the travellers, have a rich history of movement and adaptation. However, the travellers themselves have a distinct cultural identity separate from the Romani with their own unique language, traditions and history. Their language, known as shelter, is a blend of Irish and English with its own unique vocabulary and syntax. Their traditions include a rich oral history, storytelling and a strong sense of community. They have their own customs such as traditional crafts, music and ceremonies that have been passed down through generations. Despite the challenges they have faced, the Irish travellers have maintained a resilient and vibrant culture that continues to thrive today. The nomadic lifestyle of the Irish travellers a defining aspect of their cultural identity, has shaped their traditions, values and worldview. For centuries, travellers journeyed across the Irish countryside, often in horse-drawn wagons. Their movements dictated by the seasons, the availability of work and the rhythms of their traditional way of life. This close connection to the land and the elements fostered a deep respect for nature and a strong sense of independence and self-reliance. The history of the Irish travellers is sadly interwoven with a long and pervasive pattern of discrimination and prejudice. From the earliest written records to more recent times, travellers have been subjected to suspicion, hostility and outright persecution from the settled community. Their nomadic lifestyle, distinct customs and perceived difference often place them at odds with the dominant societal norms leading to misunderstanding and fear. This deep-seated prejudice, rooted in historical misconceptions and reinforced by social structures, has created significant barriers for travellers seeking equality and inclusion. The struggle for recognition and equal rights has been a constant theme in the modern history of the Irish traveller community. Despite some progress in recent decades, travellers continue to face significant legal barriers and social exclusion that prevent their full participation in Irish society. Discriminatory laws and policies coupled with persistent negative stereotypes have created systemic obstacles that limit their opportunities and perpetuate their marginalisation. The latter half of the 20th century witnessed significant social and economic changes in Ireland that profoundly impacted the traditional lifestyle of the Irish traveller community. Rapid modernisation, urbanisation and the decline of rural economies led to a gradual shift away from nomadism, with many travellers settling in permanent accommodations. While this transition brought about certain improvements, such as greater access to education and healthcare, it also presented new challenges and complexities for a community deeply rooted in a nomadic heritage. The Irish traveller community, despite facing centuries of prejudice and social exclusion, has maintained a vibrant and distinctive cultural identity rooted in a rich tapestry of traditions, customs and strong family values. 
These traditions passed down orally through generations have served as a source of strength, unity and cultural pride, shaping their worldview and providing a sense of belonging in a world that often views them with suspicion or indifference. At the heart of traveller culture lies the paramount importance of family and kinship ties. A fascinating and integral aspect of Irish traveller culture is their unique language, shelter, a secret language spoken primarily within the community. Shelter, also known as gammon or cant, is a fascinating linguistic blend of Irish Gaelic, Old English and unique vocabulary and grammatical structures. Its origins remain shrouded in some mystery, but it is believed to have developed over centuries as a means of communication and cultural preservation among travellers, allowing them to converse amongst themselves while maintaining a degree of privacy from the settled population. The Irish traveller community has made significant and lasting contributions to the rich tapestry of Irish culture, particularly in the realms of music, storytelling and traditional crafts, their artistic expressions often imbued with a deep sense of history, heritage and the joys and sorrows of a life lived on the margins, have captivated audiences and left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of Ireland. One of the most pressing and enduring challenges faced by the Irish traveller community is the pervasive discrimination they encounter in accessing safe, secure and culturally appropriate housing. This issue has deep roots and far-reaching consequences, affecting every aspect of their lives. Despite being an integral part of Irish society, travellers often find themselves marginalised and excluded from mainstream housing opportunities. This exclusion is not just a matter of inconvenience, it has profound implications for their well-being and social integration. The housing conditions that many travellers are forced to endure are often substandard and unsafe. These living environments are not only physically inadequate, but also fail to meet the cultural needs of the traveller community, who have a unique way of life that is not always understood or respected by broader society. Despite decades of policy initiatives and legal frameworks aimed at addressing this issue, the reality on the ground remains grim. Government efforts have often fallen short, either due to lack of implementation or because the policies themselves do not fully address the specific needs of the traveller community. Travellers continue to experience significant disparities in housing conditions, often living in overcrowded and poorly maintained accommodations. These conditions are not just a matter of physical discomfort, they have serious implications for the health and well-being of traveller families, particularly children. Often relegated to inadequate and marginalised living spaces, travellers face a cycle of poverty, social exclusion and poor health outcomes. This cycle is difficult to break and perpetuates the disadvantages faced by the community. The impact of poor housing extends beyond the physical environment. It affects educational opportunities, access to health care and overall quality of life. Social exclusion and discrimination exacerbate these issues, making it even harder for travellers to improve their circumstances. The historical displacement of travellers from their traditional nomadic encampments has compounded these challenges. Forced to abandon their way of life, many travellers have struggled to find a place within a society that often views them with suspicion and prejudice. Coupled with a lack of culturally sensitive housing policies, this displacement has resulted in a chronic shortage of suitable accommodation options for many families. The failure to provide housing that respects and accommodates the traveller way of life is a significant barrier to their social inclusion. Addressing these issues requires a concerted effort from all levels of government, as well as a commitment to understanding and respecting the unique cultural needs of the traveller community. Only then can we hope to create a more inclusive and equitable society for all. The Irish traveller community faces significant and persistent barriers to accessing quality education and meaningful employment, perpetuating a cycle of disadvantage and social exclusion that spans generations. Despite some progress in recent years, travellers continue to experience lower educational attainment rates, higher unemployment levels and significant discrimination in the workplace, limiting their opportunities for social mobility and economic empowerment.
The Irish traveller community experiences stark and unacceptable health disparities compared to the settled population. This marginalised group has long been subjected to systemic neglect and social exclusion, which has had a profound impact on their overall health and well-being. A direct consequence of long-standing social exclusion, poverty and discrimination, travellers face significantly higher rates of chronic illnesses. These include conditions such as diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and respiratory issues, which are exacerbated by their living conditions and lack of access to regular medical care. Mental health issues are also prevalent within the community. Suicidal rates are higher than in normal populations. Many Irish travellers suffer from anxiety, depression and other psychological disorders. The stress of living in substandard conditions coupled with the constant threat of discrimination takes a heavy toll on their mental health. These health disparities reflect the cumulative impact of inadequate housing, limited access to health care and the psychological toll of prejudice and marginalisation. The life expectancy of Irish travellers is significantly lower than that of the general population a stark indicator of the health crisis they face. On average, men in the traveller community die 15 years younger than their counterparts in the settled population. This is a shocking statistic that underscores the urgent need for targeted health interventions and support. Women in the traveller community also face a grim reality, with their life expectancy being 12 years shorter than that of women in the general population. This alarming statistic highlights the severity of the health crisis facing the community. Addressing these disparities requires a multifaceted approach, including improving living conditions, ensuring equitable access to health care, and combating the deep-seated prejudice that perpetuates their marginalization. Only through concerted efforts can we hope to bridge the gap and ensure a healthier future for the Irish traveller community. Despite the formidable challenges they face, the Irish traveller community has a long and proud history of resilience, activism and advocacy, constantly striving for recognition, equality and an end to discrimination. Through grassroots movements, community organisations and the tireless work of traveller advocates, they have made significant strides in raising awareness, challenging prejudice and advancing the rights of their community. Mary Connors, a woman in her late 60s, sat by the window of her caravan, her weathered hands cradling a steaming mug of tea. Her eyes, though crinkled with age, held a youthful spark, reflecting a life etched with both hardship and an indomitable spirit. Mary's story, like that of many Irish travellers of her generation, is one of resilience in the face of adversity, of holding on to one's cultural identity while navigating a world often hostile to difference. John McDonough, a bright and articulate young man in his early 20s, sat in the library of Trinity College Dublin, surrounded by stacks of books, his brow furrowed in concentration. For John, a member of the Irish traveller community, being a student at one of Ireland's most prestigious universities was a dream come true, a testament to his unwavering determination to overcome the educational barriers that have long plagued his people. Margaret Morehouse, a woman with a commanding presence and a voice that resonated with both passion and pain, stood before a packed auditorium addressing a gathering of politicians, policymakers and community leaders. As a respected elder and advocate within the Irish traveller community, Margaret had dedicated her life to speaking truth to power, challenging prejudice and fighting for the rights of her people. The Irish traveller community, despite their rich cultural heritage and enduring spirit, continue to face significant challenges in contemporary Ireland. The legacy of centuries of prejudice and discrimination continues to cast a long shadow, manifesting in ongoing disparities in housing, education, health and social inclusion. While progress has been made in recent years, particularly in terms of legal recognition and the tireless work of traveller advocates, much remains to be done to dismantle the systemic barriers that perpetuate their marginalisation.
Despite the ongoing struggles, it is crucial to acknowledge the significant strides that have been made in recent years in advancing the rights and recognition of the Irish traveller community. The tireless work of traveller advocates, community organisations and allies within the settled population has led to important policy changes, increased awareness and a growing recognition of the need to address the injustices faced by travellers. If you found this video informative, please share it, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more updates.